I'm Alexa Vega and I'm really excited to be here and I'm so proud to be a part of a project that really provides women a platform to share their stories and to help others to escape the threat and reality of domestic violence. Um, I got involved with Mary Kay Inspiring Stories after learning that one in four women will experience domestic violence. I have four sisters and the thought of one of those things happening to us was it really it just hit home and it, it scared me. So I am proud to stand behind Mary Kay Inspiring Stories because the more awareness that is raised, the more we can work to change that statistic. One of the most amazing parts of this experience um, is that Mary Kay Inspiring Stories brought women of all ages and backgrounds and they, they brought us together for a shared purpose and that is to educate and empower. My film is about finding joy after it was all but lost. Joy is possible, and together, thanks to Mary Kay, we can and will make a difference with these documentaries and be able to give joy to the survivors of abuse. As an actress, I think it's important to use film and television as vehicles to help inspire, empower, and educate others about issues like domestic violence that deserve our attention. These Mary Kay inspiring stories are just designed to inspire a national conversation about domestic violence. Through the creation of these three documentaries, we're bringing our voices together to take a stand. And I hope each documentary created through this project helps bring out a positive change in the lives of women faced with the threat of the reality of domestic violence and domestic abuse. The most important message we can convey is that we can all play a part in changing the future of domestic violence in America. And the movement to end this pattern of violence begins with a single view of the Mary Kay Inspiring Story documentaries. The more views, the more awareness that can be raised, and the more we can all be a part of making a change. Good evening, everyone. Thanks to my job, I have an opportunity to speak to America every day. But Mary Kay Inspiring Stories provided me with a unique opportunity to speak up about a cause that affects millions of women and children. I actually joined this initiative and lent my voice to help bring the often unheard voices of women affected by domestic abuse to millions nationwide. I hope to spread a message with the women chronicled in these films who have faced the reality of domestic violence so that others will be inspired by their strength as we have been watching tonight. My film is about dreams, or our film, I should say. Our film is about dreams and the hard work and the dedication it takes to bring a dream to fruition. And in some instances, the dream isn't lofty. It's a simple dream, one of safety and security, a basic human right, but not for some. I'm completely horrified by the statistics, you know, that one in four women are affected by domestic violence and um, that it's the leading cause of injury to women nationwide. And I thought, wow, this isn't just an issue, this is an epidemic. And I also love the, the idea of working for a company like Mary Kay who really puts their money where their heart is. And, um, and, and also working with women coming together and learning something new. And that is in itself is so inspiring. I just thought on every level um, that it was important to start this conversation. And, and I'm really proud. And I have some pretty good girls up here with me <laughs> to lend our voices to this incredible initiative. So thanks, Joanna. I don't even need this. But I like it. <laughs> okay, this next question is for Alexa. What inspired you to be a narrator in this campaign on domestic violence? Um, I have been looking for a while for a cause to get involved with. And um, it's really hard because there are so many things out there that need a good voice for. And, you know, it, it's really hard you know, to choose any, anything because um, there's so many people that you want to help and so many causes that you want to be a part of. Uh, but this one really stood out to me. I'm, I'm from a family of girls and, um, you know, seeing my mom, she was a single mom and she raised us on her own and, and made us very, very strong women. And, um, you know, it, she, she had an unfortunate husband who cheated on her a lot. and. Um, wasn't physically abusive, but emotionally really took a toll on her. Um, and to see her really stick it out and and learn that how to kind of accept it within herself that she can get away from all of this. And, and one day she just kind of took us and really took it into our own hands and she's made incredible women. And, you know, finally seeing, seeing the statistics, I had no idea that it was that bad and thinking that 
it could happen to one of my sisters, and it doesn't really have a voice. You know, the, the fact that this happens so often and nobody really talks about it is shocking. So this is something that we have to bring awareness to to get those numbers down, if not gone, because it's just too big. It's way too big. Absolutely. Thank you, Alexa. This next question is for Maria. Maria, why is this cause so important to you, and why did you get involved? Well, for me, uh, LaToya actually asked me earlier, um, and uh, I said to her, you know, being a journalist, I'm always trying to figure out what that next conversation is, what's that next story that's really inspiring to me to be a part of. And women's issues are really important to me um, and have been. And so I was never personally affected by domestic violence, um, and no one really in my inner circle has. But like I told LaToya, that doesn't, um, make a difference to me because women's issues are important to me and just like the girl said this, the statistics are so staggering and they do need a voice and knowing that I have platforms that can help promote this cause is really important for me to be able to lend my voice and lend my talents to um, and so that's why I decided to get involved. Thank you. I know we are very blessed to have you guys um, supporting us in this effort. Thank you. And the filmmakers did a great job. Yes, they did. I was blown yes, away by did. these pieces. Honestly, they were so well done. And I think the biggest part of this, and this is why, you know, it's it's such a big thing to urge people to go watch these documentaries, is they're actually teaching you what to do to them. It isn't just here's my story. You guys are teaching people what to do, how to find happiness again, and, and that can be a way to get them out of the situation. It was really, really educational and informative, and I've been a part of a lot of these kinds of things, and sometimes they kind of miss the mark. People try really hard, but you guys really nailed it. And um, I'm really, really proud to have been a part of it. I was completely blown away by them. Well, your teams were fantastic. Thank, Thank you, that was fun. Really good. <laughs> Such a great <laughs> company, so. I think we're gonna win too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Confidence is key, right? That's right. This next question is a competition. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Alexa, come on. <laughs> This next question is for me, um, Leah. How can people buy the Beauty That Counts lipsticks and what has the interest been in the Beauty That Counts cream lipsticks? Well, the first part, how to buy our lipsticks, is really easy. If you have a Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant, just call her. If you don't, it's super easy. Just go to MaryKay.com and we have something called a Consultant Locator. You just type in your zip code and it'll serve up um, several beauty consultants in your area, almost like Natch.com, and you can pick a beauty consultant that maybe you can it with best. You don't have to make a personal connection. You can also uh, just shop with her online, so you can purchase these lipsticks online, over the phone, or in person. And then, what has the interest been in the beauty that counts? It's actually been quite phenomenal. Um, our sales force of uh, almost 600,000 beauty consultants here in the U.S have really rallied behind this promotion, getting the word out through some, something as simple as a lipstick. In fact, this is our fourth year of doing this promotion. And in the first year, we offered one lipstick. And in the second year, we did two lipsticks. And in the third year, we did three lipsticks because it, it was so popular. And this year, there's three shades, as you know. And next year, we're going to change it up. And we have something a little more spectacular coming. So more to come there. But it's been a phenomenal response. And we're going to continue to do it. So. Uh, this next question is for Karen. Karen, how does the Mary Kay Foundation support the domestic violence cause? Um, well, obviously, we're all here tonight um, watching the Mary Kay inspiring stories and uh, um, seeing the incredible Beauty That Counts uh, campaign that uh, Mary Kay is doing. But there's a lot of other things that the Mary Kay Foundation does. Um, we're actually act very actively involved in um, lobbying on the state and national level, and we do a lot of work um, trying to help enact legislation that protects women and children, as well as uh, to get funding for programs and services. We all know with the economy that um, nonprofits across the border are facing increased economic hardship. Another thing that's really so special about Mary Kay is we have this amazing, dedicated sales force, and they're all so passionate about the Mary Kay Foundation and about domestic violence prevention. You know, these ladies are out in their communities all the time, and oftentimes they have customers or friends or they know someone in the neighborhood that's affected by domestic violence. And so through the Mary Kay Foundation, we can offer all sorts of resources to our sales force 
so they can reach out to these women and reach out to these women safely because when a woman is, is thinking about leaving a, an abusive situation, it is often the most dangerous time for her. And so there's very important steps that we need to focus on with our sales force to make sure that they can help the women in their community and do so safely. So um, we do some amazing things that are, that are far and beyond just fundraising. Thank you, Karen. Uh, this question is for you. Out of hundreds of applicants, why do you think you were selected to participate in the Mary Kay Inspiring Stories program? Well, I'm going to be a little bilingual here and I'll answer in Spanish and English for you. Um, una de las cosas más importantes para mí fue que me seleccionaron y no solamente yo estaba interesada en documentales, sino que fui pasada víctima de violencia de noviazgo, así que esto representaba la mezcla de mis dos pasiones y fue uno que me inspiró en translation. <laughs> um, basically I said that I'm a journalist and I try to get into filmmaking and then I've been an advocate for 10 years, and I'm 25, about dating violence because I was a victim myself. Um, when I was 15, I had to do a protection order in Puerto Rico, and since then I had advocate uh, for this cause, and when this came up, uh, I think it was actually on Twitter because of the groups I follow on domestic violence and dating violence, I couldn't, all my application is like, this is a dream come true, it's a combination of media and a combination of my cause, please, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> so I guess, I guess that that was um, how I felt when I got it. Um, I'm very proud to be in a project that technically reflects what I say, don't become a victim of silence. So basically this is something for out there, and at least in my film, um, and on the other films, we see that that is a big issue when we have dating violence, the prevention, and then we have intervention, <coughs> and other types of abuse. We already even saw elderly abuse calls. So mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it takes everybody. So I'm happy I, I was like, great. Well, and your team did a great job as well. And we're just so thrilled that you could be here with us today because I know that it was quite challenging with your work and everything. So thank you so much, Ada. Okay, this next question is for Alexa, Alexa, have you or anyone you've ever known had a, had an experience with domestic violence? Um, I was kind of talking about that earlier a little bit. Um, you know, I don't know too many people who've gone through it, but seeing seeing what my mom went through, and when you have that many kids, picking up and leaving is really hard to do, especially with no money. And um, and she did it. She just made it happen. And you know, I think my mom is, is a really, really strong woman, and she always has been. So it's kind of shocking to think that that had ever been a part of her life, because it's so not who she is today, and you would never, ever see that happen to her again at all. Um, but I think the, the biggest thing is, you know, a lot of times people just feel like they're going to be alone afterwards, and you're not. You're not alone at all. There's so many people that are surrounding you to support you, and so many great programs out there to, you know, to help guide you along the way. And you guys made a valid point saying that, you know, it tell it. The video shows you how to get out of that and and what happens in it. And how it's not just physical abuse, but you know, mentally people can just tear you down, and it's not just with men. women, men can go through it too, so it, I just hope that, you know, this is something that can really help a lot of people and give them a good platform. Great, thank you. Joanna, what was your favorite part of the project? Oh, wow, I feel like there were so many. I mean, I, I think that there were moments, you know, of we had a lot of fun, I had a great group of girls, but I also, was really profoundly affected by um, the notion that it is it comes in uh, domestic violence comes in many shapes and sizes, and I think that that is the most important the thing that I took away from it the most because it's starting the conversation and and sort of sparking the idea and the uh, the, the conversation about this happens in so many uh, the emotional level the physical level to elderly to young women and. I just thought it was, that to me, I, that resonated with me the most. 
And not to mention we had a lot of fun and I was so proud of my girls because they learned so much and they did this amazing, all of the women were, it was so, I think it's so incredible when women get together what we're capable of. And um, I'm always really excited and so proud we rock. You were the only guy the whole time, right? I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's his life. <laughs> yes, Jose is the only man on, on our team, and we love, we really love Jose. <laughs> Talk about Survivor. Yes. <laughs> Maria, this question is for you. If you could share one piece of advice with a domestic violence survivor, what would that be? One piece of advice. One piece of advice. Uh, someone asked me this time. And I think, you know, my one piece of, of advice is to watch these videos because what I was really moved by watching them is that you really give um, great tidbits of, of how to kind of get yourself mentally in a place to escape these situations. Um, and hearing in that first video the woman say, find something that makes you happy and that will help pull you back. Um, and then talking about it, just like anything else in life, when you're suffering or you're depressed or you're in a situation and you know that it's not right, it's talking about it with friends, with family, with someone that you trust. And I always say it's actually the burden is on the people around you to help you. Um, and you know, if you're a friend of someone or you're a family member of someone, I think it's your job to really do the research to help find a place for them to get help. Because when you're in the situation, you're so in the weeds, it's so hard to kind of look past and say, oh, that's where I need to go to get help. You need someone around you. And you know, I think most of the time, it's fair to say there's someone there to help you and to support you. And as women, it's really difficult to ask for help because we're very proud and um, you know, we, we don't like to ask, but we have to. And so that would be my advice. Great advice. Important point. Yes, we all walk around with super capes. I think a lot of times we have to take those off. This next question is for me, Leah. What does Mary Kay, the company, hope that these films will achieve? Well, we certainly we want to we want to achieve a national platform to make sure that there are women out there that see these videos and really see how to overcome the challenges that they're facing or maybe facing in their lives. And I think in one of the videos they talked about fighting that light within joy. And if we could just turn that light on in terms of one more person getting that light, finding joy, having hope, and dreaming forward, then we know that we've done what we've set out to do. And um, we're really looking forward to um, getting these documentaries shown. So, very excited about that. Okay, Karen, why, uh, why was this call so important to your grandmother, Mary Kay Ash? And if she were alive today, what would she think about the films? Um, well, my grandmother always based her company and her philosophy was based on the golden rule, do unto others as she would have them do unto you. And from the very beginning, my grandmother was a fundraiser. She was always, you know, looking to enrich women's lives, trying to do everything that she could to give them an opportunity to succeed. Um, I can tell you an interesting story. My grandmother used to pass garbage bags around at our annual seminars and meetings to collect money for the causes that she wanted to fundraise for. And I can tell you that our legal department would go crazy when she would have bags of money being passed around the room. But she was kind of an early pioneer of uh, uh, you know, social, corporate social responsibility. Um, I think she'd be incredibly proud of all of you and all of the filmmakers, and, and particularly proud of the women who had the courage to step up and tell their stories and um, have the courage to break the cycle of domestic violence, and not only for themselves, but for their children. I mean, oftentimes when you have children in a home where there's abuse, it, um, there's a cycle that begins, and so she, I think that she would be incredibly proud of all of these women who had the courage to step up get help, they, there's hope out there, they can break the cycle, and what was so beautiful about so many of these women is they found that doors were open to them that they never ever thought existed, and um, that really kind of goes hand in hand with what we do at Mary Kay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, our final question is for Ada. Ada, have you always considered yourself a champion of the cause? And I know you kind of spoke to that a little bit in your work. Well, I think I, with my experience of, with my personal experience of what I've done after, I, I have felt a champion 
when I hear about survivors. So I really feel that survivors are the champions of this cause. And with this film, I feel, like the name says, inspired um, to continue. And, and like I said there, um, it's good to feel that you're new, not the only one fighting for this. And, and with that, I would want to, I would like to lend my voice a little bit and, and make, if possible, that the people that were on the film stand up so we can give oh, them a round of applause. Yeah. We have out tonight and experiencing this, this fantastic magical event to see these fantastic documentaries. In honor of National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, this premiere serves as the official kickoff for online viewing of the documentaries to hopefully educate and provide a national spotlight on the cause. We encourage you and your friends and families to join in the fight against domestic violence. Starting now through October 31st, you can log on to MaryKayInspiringStories.com and view and share these important films. With each view, we can change the future of domestic violence today. We also invite you to help us transform the world to make a beautiful difference one lipstick at a time. Consumers can join Mary Kay in its worldwide goal to change the lives of women and children through the purchase of our limited edition Beauty That Counts Mary Kay Cream Lipstick. From now through December 15th, $1 will be donated from the sale of each shade named Give Joy, Give Hope, and Give Dreams, all to support the Mary Kay Foundation in its efforts to end domestic violence. And finally, finally, we also invite you to become a Facebook fan on our Mary Kay Facebook fan page. Starting now through October 31st of this month, Mary Kay will donate $1 to the Mary Kay Foundation for every new Facebook fan that we sign up, up to $1 million. So get all your friends out there and have them sign up. Now we hope that Mary Kay Inspiring Stories gives hope to the hopeless, gives joy to the women who, say, who can say that they survived, and gives dreams to those who wish for a better tomorrow. Thank you for coming out this evening, and please don't forget to spread the word about becoming a Facebook fan and sharing these important documentaries. Thank you and good night. <laughs>